going to do a streak, we're going to streak bacterial plates with bacteria that we have in, right here. So first thing we need to do is sterilize the table with ethanol, 70% ethanol right here. Okay, spread that off. Okay, now that we've sterilized the table, we can put the put our plates and our actual bacteria bacteria down here. Now, what we're going to do to streak them is we're going to streak the A A strain first. So, so we're going to pull that out right here. There it is. And so, and this is the auger stab box, and the part A and part B are stored in the PSB one AK three backbone here, and that means they're res they're going to be resistant to ampicillin and canamycin. These are the plates we have right here, and they're labeled, right? We labeled them on the day we had the auger in them, so that would be April 14th, and we marked that they are LB, ampicillin, canamycin resistant, and here we have that they're part A, and we're going to do them on June 9th, 2014, so we have the date right here. Okay, and this is our actual part A. So for this, we're going to have to light a flame, so turn on the gas, okay. get it right over here, and we have to make sure we can get it just right, okay. Now we're going to use these loops here to, oh, gas went out, okay, so we're going to use these loops here, and the first thing we need to do is make sure they're these have been kept in a bleach solution to make sure they're pretty sterile, but now we have to put them in the flame to make sure we can touch the bacteria with it to keep sterility. So we have to put it, we have to start with the back and put it right above the blue cone, which is the hottest part of the flame, and slowly take it to the front. And right on the hottest part. So this is going to make sure that any contaminants will be exterminated here. Okay, now that we have this, we can take up the part A, let it cool for a little minute so we don't burn the bacteria. Burn our E. coli right here. And we can open this up. And this is all surrounded by auger. So what we need to do is we need to hit, take this loop and put it right in the middle. And that's where the bacteria are going to be. So we take it right here, make sure we should get a little. And now, these plates are always placed upside down. So what we do is we flip it over and open it up. And we're going to slowly, these are sharp, so what we have to do, we have to uh, spread it in a zigzag motion and in that zigzag motion just gently and try not to make any scratch marks over it over the auger but make sure you get the bacteria on it and in a slow zigzag motion When you're done, you cover it up again and flip it back over. And one more time, you make sure your uh, your loop is sterile. So you flame it one more time, same way. And if you are if you're streaking any more plates at that time, then you can just uh, put it and put your loop into another one of those, another one of these uh, piles, and take out more bacteria. Or if you're done, then you can just put these back in the bleach solution and let them stay there until next time. And now we, all we have to do is put these in the incubator. Okay, so we're gonna store these in the incubator overnight to make the bacterial colonies grow. Right now they're just little streaks, but overnight they're going to grow into huge colonies. 
So usually these are stored at four degrees Celsius in the refrigerator, but when we're growing them, they will be placed in the incubator at 37 degrees Celsius for 14 to 16 hours. Alternatively, if you don't have an incubator, then you can place it at room temperature for 24 to 30 hours. So what the one procedure that we have to do is make sure these are upside down instead of the, instead of normally placed. So the auger stab should be the auger should be facing up uh, the bottom and the empty lid should be facing up. This is to make sure that any precipitation that builds up because of the heat inside there doesn't fall on the actual streak and uh, maybe potentially damaging the bacteria. So we open this and carefully place it right here. and shut the door, and 14 to 16 hours later, come back and check it.